glad you enjoyed my company. Oh, I did. And it was nice for the house to have a bit of life in it before it gets sold. Well, I could always pop around again tonight. A classic movie night. Ah, uh -huh. that depends on your definition of a classic. Some people think that Rocky is a classic, but I don't care for it. I was thinking more Roman holiday. Oh, that's a very good suggestion. I'll get the popcorn. Oh, uh, I was going to ask you a, a favor. Um, don't uh, mention the moped incident to anyone, uh, especially not my mom. It's a little bit embarrassing. Okay, my lips are sealed. Fancy a coffee? We got time? Well, if it delays saying goodbye to you, then yes. <laughs> Shona, uh, two coffees, please. What's with the arm? Oh, this app. It's nothing. I, uh, I heard it yesterday. It's in a sling. It's hardly nothing. I don't know if it was all the painkillers I gave him when he woke up this morning, but he's been a lot braver about it than I would have been. Oh, all right. Well, uh, why don't you take a seat, Florence Nightingale, and I'll bring the coffees over. Nice hair, by the way. Oh, thank you. Oh, that petition was bad enough, but now there's a video online. The bit that makes me laugh is him saying that he's not racist. I mean, come on, any time that you feel the need to say that, you're probably being racist. Yeah, but what can I do? Griff already had a big following, and now he's celebrating the downfall of the refugee centre with a video. It's just gonna get worse, isn't it? Babe, anyone with any sense won't believe him, yeah? You know, he should be thinking about what these people are actually trying to get away from. Yeah, but the trouble is, Griff's minority are so loud that any counter-argument just gets lost. Are you really gonna let him win? Well, not if I can help it, but I don't know what else to do, Gary. I'm supposed to have a meeting in a bit about the Christmas markets, but I'm not feeling very festive. Oh, I'm not letting Camden's gonna be there and all. He's the last thing I need today. Who's that? Are you serious? Hmm? Len. The counselor who goes out of his way to wind me up. The one who went to the papers about Sally peeing in the street. Ah, pee gate, Len. Got you. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, but once you've met one useless counselor, you've sort of met them all. Look, why don't you call money here? Yeah? Get him to change his mind. Yeah, you're right. Christmas can wait. This is more important, isn't it? I really need to find my phone. I bet I got a ton of work emails. Oh, you're right. I, I shouldn't be keeping you from your work. Oh, no, you certainly should, but we have tonight. <laughs> Victoria Sponge for the walking wounded. On the house, of course. Now, it was the last piece, but I thought you might like to uh, share. <laughs> Thank you, Shona. That's very nice of you. Can I get you anything else? Um, no, thank you. Right, okay, well, um, I'll just be over there if there is anything else that you'd like to share or whatever. There you are. We've been looking all over. Do you know Grant's been trying to get hold of you? Oh, no, but you were right. What's happened? Oh, it was just a little accident. It's, it's fine. Why were you looking for me? Uh, no, no, it's, it's okay. You've, you've been in an accident. It's fine. Oh, and, and I'm perfectly all right. Okay, well, we were just wondering if we could uh, show you our business pitch, you know, just get some feedback before we go in later. Of course. Uh, right, well, I'll, I'll leave you to it. Uh, meet you back here at five. Yeah. Sorry, we didn't interrupt, did we? Um, no. <laughs> no, not at all. I'll see you later. Why we welcome this opportunity to work with you on this exciting new venture. Wow, that is a strong pitch. You think? Yes, it's concise, engaging. I, I love the part about ethical responsibilities and sustainability. Do you really have that many orders waiting? Yeah. Yeah, we, we know it's a strong proposition with the money that me and Adam put in, but if we can just get the 12K for the development, we can start to fulfill the orders. Well, they'd be mad not to give it to you. I mean, your, your numbers are reasonable, and, uh, well, the yearly growth looks entirely feasible. I know you don't like to mix business with family, but you, you could come on board. Look, yeah, maybe we can chat about this another time. I really need to find my phone. Oh, is it my mum's? Uh, me and Adam found it in Victoria Gardens. Well, if you want to meet later for drinks, and we could, you know, maybe talk about you investing. Well, keep your eyes on the prize. You've got a solid pitch and good potential. You don't need me to invest as these people will. Yeah, uh, well, thank you, and thanks for letting us pitch to you. You're very welcome, and I will keep everything crossed. Oh, uh, Mum, Mum said um, she's been looking for you, and she's not in a very good mood. Oh, well, thanks for the warning. Right, I think we better head off, too. Oh, 
Yeah, it was just a drunken accident, and then I had a few whiskeys to take care of the pain, and I stayed at a friend's. So why didn't you contact us? With what? My phone was here. Is there anything you need now? Well, actually, a charger, because it's, uh, it's totally dead. I promise I won't break curfew again, Mom. <laughs> Doesn't matter how old you are, I will always worry about you. We'll never stop. It's adorable. <laughs> how did you say you hurt yourself? Oh, you know, a slip. Uh, it was nothing. Just a few too many. Oh. Well, we've all been there, sweetheart. It's all fun and games till you find yourself under a motorbike, eh? <laughs> I knew it. Lots of work emails. Yes. I expect one of them will be from six fellas in Bolton. Why would you say that? You had a call from him last night. I searched for it, and that's what came up. Well, uh, why would you search for it? Well, I wouldn't normally pry, but I answered the call to tell whoever it was that you weren't here. It was a very odd conversation. Well, uh, what did they say? He said you owed him a moped and a phone. Do you know... If I didn't know any better, I'd say you were working as a delivery boy in Bolton. Ah, uh, well, what can I say, Gail? As far back as I can recall, I've wanted to be a delivery boy. And the fact that it's in Bolton, well... I'm living the dream. <laughs> now you're being sarcastic. <laughs> well spotted. But if you weren't delivering pizzas, what were you doing? Look, I, I've been looking to invest in one of those businesses, and obviously I've got lots of contacts in Italy, and uh, oh, what's Italy famous for? Both place of the pizza. Precisamente. Why were you riding a moped? I wasn't. I was standing outside talking to the owner when one of the drivers crashed into me. And he had the cheek to say it was my fault his scooter got written off. And why did you tell us you'd slipped? Well, I, I just didn't want you to worry. Oh, about what? This accident he had. Someone crashed into him on a moped. She thought I was on the moped. But it was the other fella on the moped. Look, would you please stop saying moped? What were you talking about? Gail thinks that I've been working as a delivery boy in Bolton. Uh, <laughs> I could just see him weaving his way through the traffic. Bottles on his back. <laughs> a little helmet on his head. <laughs> <laughs> Very droll. <laughs> anyway, nothing against the delivery drivers. They're wonderful. But you, being an executive, I mean, come on, what a come down, eh? From captain of industry to pizza delivery boy. Well, listen, a good boss uh, knows his business from top to bottom. You know, and if I buy a pizza place, I'll be happy to do a couple of deliveries. Oh. Oh, speaking of captains of industry, how'd the pitch go? Uh, well, it started badly, then it went downhill. Oh, well, I thought you'd knock it out of the park. What happened? Oh, I don't know. They, they asked me a question. I just, I couldn't answer, and then that was it. I just went to pieces. Oh, no. Maybe you just put too much pressure on yourself. Mum, I've got to be able to handle the pressure.